Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is your host, Warrior here today. And guys, welcome back to another video about ENB and NVE in general. So I did notice a lot of people have been asking, uh, joining the Discord server and just asking a lot of questions. So I want to kind of basically just wrap this up so there's not very many uh, questions left over. If anything, it's just like maybe like, hey, I'm having this issue. I'm having this issue. Like, what did you do versus this? So basically, um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the questions and concerns. So one of the biggest questions I was asking asked is can you show the mod off when it's extra sunny out and like everything else well finally i joined the uh other i joined the server and it's not uh raining or something because i have the worst luck when it comes with with uh, with weather in general so this is how the mod looks when and the enb preset when it is actually uh sunny out as you can tell it does a lot of detail with shading reflections it looks really really good um the biggest difference with this versus the ultra preset is the reflections are more they're more kind of like a real life reflection kind of rather than enb either than the ultra presets enb basically kind of just like making it almost like holographic you know what i mean that kind of look out in general but so that's one of the one things that this preset does do you do have your reflection but it's not like overpowering if you know what i mean it's not like an overpower reflection on certain colors um actually i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a uh traffic services unit just so you guys can see uh what i'm talking about with like a black color so we'll go ahead and spawn in a crown victoria and as you can tell like the reflection is there it's a very good reflection don't get me wrong it's very very good reflections i mean you could literally see posts and the brick wall over here that i'm looking at as well guys and it basically reflects onto the car well with the ultra preset the reflection will be more in depth you know what i mean it's just it's a little bit too much for my liking that's why i prefer the monster killer preset in general so another thing that i want to talk about as well with this preset in general is also the the shadows basically so the setting that uh is really really good and makes this preset the really prestigious preset in my opinion for me and all the presets i've used just testing out enb is the ambient occlusion uh preset setting on this thing i will go ahead and show everybody my settings in a couple minutes but also look at the detail with the shadow on the car as it's driving without the effect on it's not gonna look near as good and it just would not look next gen you know it doesn't look like that 4k nve look and this just makes NVE just look amazing if I didn't find this preset I probably wouldn't use NVE I would literally probably use um, realism beyond or something like that like s something along those lines just another one of those mods but when I found this preset and I just wanted to download it and I gave it a shot fell in love with it and that's why I use it every single day like guys this thing is amazing I mean look at this Explorer based on, at this certain area like it looks like you're looking at an Explorer actually in real life and how it would look in real life not just basically kind of like oh it's just copy and paste it into a game like this looks like it belongs in the game and it belongs in this particular spot it just looks beautiful another big thing with this preset that i love in general is uh, the way the sh the shades and everything else the shaders and everything like this on this mod work on the character so this is my uh police a police uh, character that I usually use sometimes I usually use a different uh, I have different things I have to do on the server I'm a part of traffic services unit I'm uh, I'm also now a reserve and deputy uh, sheriff so basically I basically have a lot of characters I have to go through and a lot of uh, different clothes I have to wear and it just overall it shows a lot of great detail with basically you know your 5m stuff like your you know your radio your radios, your duty belts, your uh, custom gloves in the game, and also, you know, your arms and the tattoos looks amazing. The vest look amazing. And also, the one thing that I really, 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 really love about this preset is the facial hair. So, a lot of presets that really just don't do this the right way and make this pop and make it look even more beautiful, in my opinion, is the facial hair and the hair cuts, basically. So, in a lot of presets, the hair and the facial hair is very blocky and kind of pasted on, and it kind of, and it's like really, really chiseled in, it seems like. 
this preset basically gives you how the facial hair would look if you're looking at it from this distance in real life basically your facial hair actually looks like it's actual hair and it doesn't look just glued on with like electrical tape etc etc and the hair also looks very flowy and very put together it looks awesome and also the cut as well like your little fade marks on your hair as well look absolutely beautiful that's the one thing that i love about this preset to make it pop even more and i'm not trying to say you know this may not be a preset for you guys it doesn't really matter whatever preset this is just my opinion with it but i'll go ahead and show you guys like other characters as well that i have so let's go ahead and spawn in my tsu guy again black this is a pure black uniform and you can already you can tell the detail and the shadering on the uniform in general you could tell it's there but the one that really shows it very well is the blaine county sheriff's office that we have in oceanside rp just again that shows that is not there in any other preset this, this goes so far into this the way your character looks it looks absolutely amazing so now i'm going to switch over to another uniform as well and you can just tell it looks absolutely amazing and plus you know the hat makes your facial hair look actually like facial hair and another thing is too when you point a weapon you know look at like even in general it may be zoomed out and a little blurry you could still tell that's there and also the hat mark as well you probably didn't know this was a snapback rubber or like kind of like the rubber snapback that you can find in real life this preset kind of gives you that detail with it and just the little itty bitty details in general make this preset look amazing so now i know what you all been waiting for and that's the settings just get on with the settings here so i'll go ahead and press shift enter and here are the settings that i use for this preset and uh, what i've used for my enb i usually get about you know the i usually leave the fps limit on because you're usually not going to get more than 60 fps with certain presets on in the map right now i'm recording and i'm in Polito bay and i'm getting about 60 frames you know 56 is my lowest frame i've seen so far but it just shows in general i do usually turn off the fps limit sometimes depending on where i'm at in the map but honestly i just leave it on because one of the reasons why i'm just too late to do it so it doesn't really make that much difference for me anyway because whenever i'm playing i will usually get about 65 frames or whatever and i will probably get around 50 so frames when i'm recording or streaming but honestly to me that doesn't make that much of a difference to me because i usually am used to 50 to 60 frames but if i start dropping lower then i'll probably shut the enb off and one of the biggest easiest ways to do it is you just press this and i will go ahead and show you guys the difference with this setting versus without using it so this is te technically the raw without enb i will show you guys how big of a difference this makes boom look at how much brighter it gets and just look at how much kind of grainy it kind of looks and it doesn't look kind of like how it used to i mean even the explorer just lost all of its reflections and it lost everything but you put the preset back on and look at how much different it is that's why i've always been like Oh my god and i will say one thing in general as well the biggest fbs killer with enb is enb itself enb is such a just it's a kill fps killer so that's why i said if you guys have a very very low end pc or just kind of like a pc to get by don't even try to run this mod it's not gonna work very well for you you're gonna lose so much fps loss and honestly if you can get to between like 50 to 60 frames with this mod then you're set you're fine but honestly and including while recording that's the other biggest thing too if you're a content creator or if you just want to do this purely and you can run it fine and you don't got to worry about recording then that's fine go ahead and run e nve in this preset all you want but if you are running this with a very bad pc and you're trying to stream and record it i don't recommend nve in this preset for you there's other mods that will get you by in general but the biggest fps killer with enb and everything else is ambient occlusion ambient occlusion is how you get that shader effect you know what i mean so basically the shadows the dark kind of shading on my character you know this just the darker little thing that is how you get the mod to look beautiful and that's how you get everything to look the way it does that is the biggest reason why nve and enb is such 
just ENB in general is such an FPS killer is because of uh, the occlusion, because of how much it does. That is basically the shadow, the shaders, basically a part of it to make it more popping and more next gen looking but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope this cleared up a lot of questions for you guys that you might have had and also you guys get to see the settings that i run with my enb and my enb with this is the absolute default settings that come with the preset i don't change anything because of the fact is i like it the way it is and i think it's beautiful honestly there's a lot of check marks under with my settings that you could add to so go ahead and play with it have fun with it and basically just try your own thing you don't have to do the exact same thing i'm doing so i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did be sure to hit like that like button down below if you are new around here and you want to see more tutorials or any questions with gta 5 modding be sure to let me know down in the comments down below and also stick around if you're new hit that subscribe button as well and join the discord server guys if you have any sort of questions and i will be sure to answer them to the best of my ability also guys if you want to see myself stream oceanside rp and any other games go ahead and check out the twitch.tv slash void reaper hd link down in the description down below you'll be directed to my twitch channel i stream every single monday tuesday thursday at 6 30 p.m central standard time so i hope to see you all there in general but yeah everybody that's basically all i got for you i hope you guys did enjoy the video today and without further ado i will see you guys in the next video take care everybody